I've got the authority that most of these people are. I'm here to learn as much as I can of, about the problems that we're discussing here. But it is uh, because I am a mathematician and I really uh, have spent a lot of time looking at problems and how we solve them. Uh, this, this particular issue of uh, climate control became of extreme interest to me. Uh, recently, a friend of mine I uh, spent some time in Costa Rica, and I'm she... So, I'm sorry, Nero, could you... People want to be able to hear you. Okay. Um, recently, about, uh, about a year ago, <laughs> some friends of, uh, a friend of mine spent some time in Costa Rica, and uh, she brought the problem. The problem that, that came to me from her was the fact that she lived with people who generated their own energy need, needs. All of the needs that they had for energy, they created and they had enough energy for their neighbors. Well, I never heard of anything like this, and I was wondering, how do, how do people do this? And um, so when she came back, when she came back and she shared some things with us about the production, people being able to produce energy for themselves, I began to look at what was happening in my city, and my city uh, is Milwaukee. And I began to see how people were beginning to look at other forms of energy. Now, the, I did not know initially the problems that we confronted. I did know about lead, lead in the schools, I knew that. I didn't know the problems that, that we confronted with uh, generating um, energy and the, the, the coal problem. But now, now that I see it, uh, I, I'm seeing it differently. I, I see that, and, and also I wanted to say that I'm, I'm a member of the NAACP. Uh, and, I, and I'm not an officer, <laughs> but I just wanted to solve problems. Um, I see this as a problem for the nation, but all of us are responsible. We help to create it, and we also, in many ways, can help solve it. So when I looked at what they were doing in Costa Rica, and they looked at the, their own waste that they used in, in, with composting, so that they, they uh, uh, even though you know you eat food, and I knew what they did with the animals. I knew I knew that we used the manure from the animals in order to uh, fertilize the, the fields so that we could have food. But I never thought of it this way. I really, oh, I really want to tell you that I'm learning a great deal because I had never thought about energy in this way, and I think a lot of people have never thought about it in this way. But we have a great opportunity. I, I'm very happy about the standards. I didn't know about the standards that you are generating at the EPA for uh, con contamination. You've got, you've got to have standards because how will we know when we're in compliance or when we're, we're over, the, over the top and what, what, uh, what we have been doing. So I like the fact that we are going to be lo uh, looking at standards and I certainly will be one of the proponents of explaining to people uh, uh, that you are in a community that's creating a lot of problems for you and that uh, we do have some standards. And I don't know how you plan to make sure that all the communities know what the standards are, but I think the NAACP will be right there helping to, to share with people, and people will begin to see what they can, we can all do in order to reduce this problem, contamination.